Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Rich Tea Racing. I'm here with James Derrick. We're together at last. And Suze is here as well. Dickhead! So we went to Buckmore Park today ahead of our racing tomorrow. And because Mr. James Derrick is a little bit slower than me by about, what was it? Seven tenths? He, he, I did a 48.47.1. He did a 47.8. So he's seven tenths slower than me. So we need to get him a little bit quicker. So what we're going to do is, and I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to edit this in some way, shape or form, but we're going to have a look at one of his laps and see what we can see. So immediately, we've got, you can see, hopefully you'll be able to see this on screen, um, you'll see he's a little, he, you've, got, you've got two wheels sort of onto the red stuff, but we we are in agreement that you should be a little bit further over. Yes. Because it's it's this is the bit you two of the places you're struggling the most. It feels like I didn't commit fully. Yeah, yeah. And then if hopefully we can listen out on. So you're breaking, whereas I we'll, we'll, we'll try and find my lap later on. Um, but I was literally just I was literally just lifting, going into that one, mm. and I felt. I found it to be, it felt, it almost feels a bit slower, but okay. it, it, like, it, it, it works. So I, my, my suggestion there would be literally just lift and wait and wait, wait until about there and then to get the power back on. Because once. Where what, are you lifting then? Lifting from like probably like around here. So after you've turned in, are you turning in? Like turning in and lifting at the same time. Okay. So that's what I'd recommend for Conway's. And then I'll just get an email from Charlton Athletic. Um, so yeah. And then back on the power there. Flash out through there. That's fine. I reckon you could break a little bit later into I could, yeah. one. Because I lunged Nicky at one point. Well, he was he was helping somebody else. So yeah. I mean, I, I overtook him and I shackered as I went past him. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of that. No, you see, can you see, you know where that is? Yeah. There's a, there, like for, for the purposes of filming, for, 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 for filming purposes, uh, there's a little pile on there. I'm sort of in my in my eyes. I'm aiming for that as my breaking point, but it's it's, quite it's late, isn't it? it is very late. But there's you might just be able to see there's a little like change in tarmac color just before the corner. That's roughly where I'm breaking. And there's like there's like, there's like a black patch. That's where that's that's where I'm breaking. All right, boss. Yes, I am the boss. You got on the power well. Got on the power sort of middle corner. Could run out wider. I could. Could run out wider. So it's because I'm thinking too much about the next corner. Yeah. So maybe you need to be getting on the power a little bit earlier into coming out of hairpin one. Mm. Just a like little bit because that that was fun. Stop sending me emails. That was um that looked that looked all right. If if anything, I might be nitpicking saying that you're not running wide enough because I think if you run too wide, you, you, you're going to you. Extending the track too much, but uh, yeah. So now we come into the bit you struggle the most. So you're breaking sort of there, yeah, before the line. See that? I don't think there's anything too too. There's not too much wrong with that. But try and break a little bit later. I would try and break a little bit later. I think it depends. I've I tried to break later at one point, and I just completely, I just I just got complete complete lock up of the rears. So not I'm, the fronts. I, 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 I turned the wheel like that, so it felt like the, the rear end gave up. So I think I was coming in too fast. So I, bro I broke, I broke too late, and just lo and lost the rear end. Held it, obviously, because I am amazing. That is true. You is are it? amazing. Yes. yes. And now that's on yes. film. Um. Yeah. So yeah, I'd, so I'd say break a little bit later. Look, for, like there is a there is a distinctive line in the track. I would. That's where I would break. That's where I would break, and then flick it in. <laughs> And you want to, I, think, I think you need to get on the power just a little bit earlier. Maybe on this, I think this is your best lap. Maybe come in, come in a little bit more. Okay. And then, I mean, this is a good. This is still a good line. But I just think. Well, we're we're talking tenths of a second. We're talking seconds, we're talking so. tenths of a second. Yeah, like it's still like we've seen this lap before. It's still a good lap. It can just be better. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, break for this because this is the one you struggle with the most. Break a bit later and get on the throttle a little bit, and break later, get on the throttle earlier, yeah, yeah, and yeah. cut in a bit more because okay. you want as much speed as possible coming down this bit. Because then this is flat, flying through there, all good. Shiny's flat. So this is Pullman's. Now I think you're in the right place here. Here you're in the right place. But Ryan always used to say, "Try be in the middle." Be in the middle. I think. Yeah. Oh, I think we'd have to see my. I think we'd have to see my lap again to see if you're cutting in too early or mm. too late. I mean the set. The sector times for sector two, which this corner is included in, where is it? You do a, thir you do a 13 8, and I do a 13 7. So I'm only a tenth, I'm only a tenth of a second faster through sector two. Which is so, mostly this corner. Which is mostly this corner. And also, because of my exit out of hairpin two, won't it's probably not, yeah, probably not as good. So you'll, 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 that's, that's where you're mm. losing the tenth to, yeah. to, yeah. So keep going. So you come through there. Into it. I don't. Uh, I don't know. That's all right. That's all right. You're fine through there. Late eight. Late apex. That's fine. Is that not too early? No, I think that's fine. Suze, you're an expert. Do you want to come? Come have a wee gander. You repeat. I. I think that. I think this is a perfectly acceptable entry into Garda. I don't see it bogs down there, isn't it? Maybe, um, looking, that, maybe a little bit too early. Maybe just a, like a fraction. That's where I, I feel like I, I lose quite a I lot. Think, I think you don't, need to take, you don't need to take that much curb. There's, I think maybe you're turning it just a tiny bit too bogs early. bogs down so much. I agree, less curb. Less curb. But I should Perfect amount of curve through there. So I'm not an expert on God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, that's your that's your fastest lap. Yes. So let's, let's have a cheeky gander. Let's yours. have a look at mine. So it's just after when whenever I do track limits. Let's... You didn't yeah. try to make that point. Didn't try. No, the thing, the, my, my theory is I'd rather take a track limits warning than a cone penalty, especially on a tester. Yeah. And in a race as well, because you immediately get what. But yeah, so this is my fast that coming up now. Hopefully, it'll be on the screen. So listen out for the engine note. I'm much further on the left. You're so far on that. Right? Literally, just lift, lift, and lift back, back on, on the right. What we saw there, back on the throttle as soon as the first curb ends. Yeah. And I'm I'm completely to the inside. So I'm guessing you're not lifting all the way off, or are you lifting all the way? I think off? I'm, li I'm lifting all the li lift, no brake. Is that not going to make the rear unstable lifting totally off? Possibly, yes. I think it would, it would depend on your tyres. I'd want to double check where I'm lifting and turning. Yeah, so it's so when you turn in. Yeah, so it's just before the there's a little line at yeah. Conway's. So you're braking a bit later. You do brake a lot later, but you carry so much more speed through more there speed, than More speed, a little bit further out wide. Yeah. Braking at the line, cutting in quicker, getting on the throttle quicker through up in two. Through the S's, this bit's easy. Now I think I think your line's fine through Conway, mm. through Pullman's. I think that's fine. As Maybe well. like a bit quicker on the throttle through Paddock. Mm. Yeah, li turning in a little bit late and don't. Yeah, do not you don't bog down at all. I didn't bog, no, I didn't bog down at all there. But then you hit the curb as well. I think hitting on the curb let you down. Going through guard, it could be as a result of not getting on the power wheel enough through Paddock, and it might not be a case of you can't keep the revs. Because of Mazda Hill, that the revs aren't high enough to keep them up coming up the corner. Mm. That so I'm not getting a good enough exit, so yeah, and then the it's revs aren't there anyway. Ba the hill. Based on watching your lap just there versus my lap, it did seem like you weren't getting on the throttle quick enough in, in all the corners. In, 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 uh, most. Most. Mm. Yeah. Maybe not. I think Gardner, you got on the throttle pretty good. I think it's just because you hit the curve that is that was like that that will slow you down. Mm. But yeah, I think like turning in a bit quicker, a bit or uh, for Garda turning in later. Late it is it's a late apex regardless. 
Um, but yeah, like it, with the exception of ter- with the exception of turn one Conways, it didn't look too much different. They were just a f- and the second hairpin, and the second hairpin, yeah. So, but and that and that as we have, because again, like literally, if you can shave just a couple of tenths off of your set to one lap time, mm. so let's say you did a a nineteen six, even if it's two tenths, so nineteen six through set to one, you'd all of a sudden only be half a second slower than me. That is that, my aim. That is because, the, yeah, because yeah, it's that's what, I was that, never going to get close. That's to what that's that, that's that's what. Well, actually, the, when we went when we've gone in BUKC, near or nearly. This is what we're dealing with. <laughs> I'm so happy with yourself, aren't you? Um, yeah. No, I think turn one again. Try the lift. I'll, keep to the, I'll go first. Keep to the well. inside. I mean, there is there is every possibility. All of this could be completely elementary because we don't know what the weather's doing tomorrow. If it rains tomorrow, if it so. rains, with yeah, if it rains, every all of what we've just said is completely pointless. But yeah, Maybe we can watch oh yes, we can. There will be there is there will be there is a prequel video out for this, but more part quick circuit guide. So it was yeah, very quick. It's very quick. True. It's only seven and a half minutes long. This one's going to be slightly longer, probably about just less than half half. Bleh. Double, double. That's the word. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Um, <laughs> what was that? Word? Actually, actually, if we're gonna, we're gonna try. If we let's try and make this double, James Derrick. How much did you weigh on the scales today? Was it ninety one? Yeah. Ninety. Was it? I thought it was ninety one point eight. Yeah, I was rounding down, trying to make myself 91. feel better. Dude. It was ninety one. It was ninety one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was ninety two point seven. So ninety two. And how, but how so when when you weighed yourself, whenever the, whenever like your reference point is, how how long ago was it, and how much did you weigh back then? So around Christmas, mm. I was about ninety eight. Ninety eight. So you've lost seven kilos. Yeah, but that was without kit. But even even so, what you were, you were probably at the gym, I assume, or or, no, or, I was or at somewhere. Home, but... Okay, but. But you were, I was wearing clothes. I was we're not wearing naked, clothes. Okay, so, okay, so it was a, yeah, yeah. Seven. So you've lost a se- seven or six, six kilos. So that's pretty amazing. And I've lost. I was last time I weighed myself. I was ninety five. So I've lost three kilos since sort of November. But then obviously you got Christmas in there, and which sort, adds that adds about five. Adds, adds a fair amount. <laughs> um, the best reference I can give is last September. I was a hundred kilos on the scale. So in the space of Five and a half months, I've lost seven point three kilos, and that's I don't know. I don't know. He's lost. I don't know. I've lost it. I've lost it all now. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, that and that's come through uh, less takeaways. Best advice I can give: if you're trying to lose weight, um, just stop get takeaways. stop takeaways because I lost immediately lost a lot just through like substituting it for stuff from a supermarket, and that tends to be quite good. The supermarket. I went to Waitrose. <laughs> I went. Waitrose. I went to a wait, went to Waitrose. Went to Waitrose. Asda is also a good alternative. Asda, other supermarkets are available. <laughs> we are not sponsored we're by not Waitrose. Sponsored. No, we're not going to be now. The day you said that. Well Shit. done. Sorry. Yeah, I think we should end this now before you ruin any ruin anything further. My top tip is um, make sure you eat three meals a day because if you don't, you actually end up putting on weight. You need to keep your metabolism going. Okay. Have a little snack. I only, I, I only eat. I only eat two meals a day. <gasps> That's not good, mate. You'd lose more weight if you ate three. I have like, I don't know, probably like twenty grams of cereal in the morning, literally just to kickstart it. Yeah. And then. Well, to be fair, you're full time. You're full time employed. I'm not. So. Oh, yeah. True, yeah. So I wake up later. I also don't eat a lot in and those I, three meals. Yeah. Mm. But also that twenty gram of. Cereal. Granola. Energy, granola. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, there we go. So those those are some top tips. Make us, we can make a little series out of that. Can see, can see how much weight see, we lose by April. Much, yes, which will be the next time we go, Clay Pigeon. And it's yeah. be interesting because I've never I haven't been. raced there in a long time. Now it's Two years. Thank you, Sue. Yeah. Um how long we've been together, actually. Your anniversary? Your... Yes. Well, not a couple, 
but... Oh! Tom Hollenby is coming in, at, is getting in at 7.42, so we can go... <gasps> food! Food! Right, right. Thank We're you. going. Thank food. you very much thank for... You. Uh, thank you very much for watching this latest edition of Rich T Racing. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Hit the bell for notifications so you know when another video comes out. And all that is left for me to say now is ta-ta. And farewell. And farewell.